Hello everyone. Good morning. Welcome to my channel that is Udo for beginners. Today we are going to discuss one powerful feature of accounting that is the analytic accounting. Okay. My agenda here is to clear the concept behind it. So you can use that feature in your business requirement. Okay. In our business we mostly heard the cost center and revenue center. So cost center track the cost of your project and department and the revenue is track the revenue of your project and department. Those both things is replaced with the analytic accounting in Udu itself. It tracks the cost and revenue of your project or department as an example and track the profitability of your department and project same. So let's understand with one use case. Those use case will clear your all concept behind the analytic accounting. So let's jump to the database and let's understand what the use case is. First of all, if we want to use the analytic accounting, we have to activate those settings first. So analytic accounting, here you can see that we have to activate those boolean then and then you can find the options for analytic accounting. That is the first case. Now I'm just going to the accounting. In the accounting itself, we have that configuration. In the configuration itself, we have analytic accounts. Okay. I'm just going to create one account. But if I'm going to save it, Udo is asking us to add those analytic plan. Means the analytic plan is mandatory. So what is the analytic plan? What is analytic account? And what's the difference between it? Let's understand it by one use case example. Okay. Now this is the one flow graph I have derived to clear the concept between the analytic plan and analytic accounts. Let's consider we having the business of retail clothing business. We are selling the products belong to category of men, women and kids and we having the three stores or two stores. We are selling from store one and store two. But here I want to find that from which store how much profitability for your men's category from store two how much profitability for women category. So here we can consider that we have the two dimensions. First is regarding with that category. So category is your one dimension and store is your another dimension. In the category we have men, women, kids and the store itself we have store 1, 2 and 3. So your category and store is nothing but analytic plan means it's one dimension. Okay. In that one dimension you have similar kind of account. So what I am going to do, I am first of all creating the analytic plan based on your category and store. So let me jump to the database. This is your step number one, going to the configuration and analytic plan. Just let me discard it. I have created those plan. So just let me go to the analytic plan. Okay, fine. I have created two plans, which is my category. This belongs to man's, kids and women category and second one is my store which is store 1 and 2. That's fine. Now here you can find that your domain is there. What domain is that? If you will click on those domain you can find we have invoice, window bill, expense, purchase orders. Now what is the importance of it? If I am going to add the invoice and in the applicability you can find the optional, mandatory and unavailable. If I will add the mandatory, so meaning is that if the invoice you are going to create, the analytic account is mandatory before the confirmation. If you are not going to put the analytic account, then Udo is not allowing us to confirm those invoices. So this is the thing you can do for that bills, you can do it for your expense, anything to me, you can choose it. So this is the first concept. Now in the category itself, what we have, we have the category of the kids and men. I'm going to create one more, which is the women. Okay, now three categories are created. For the store itself, I'm going to create those analytic plan. So let me go to the store. And in the store itself, my analytic account is store one and store two. So store one and store two belongs to your analytic plan, which is my store. Now these things are clear. So step number one, that's the setting. Step number two, you have to define your analytic plan. And step number three, you have to define the analytic accounts belong to those analytic plan. Okay, now steps clear. Now let's go to and let's do some invoice and bills. Okay, so now I'm going to create some one sales order. Okay, otherwise invoices. Let me create the sales order. I have created the products already. I have created the product category first, which is my kids which is my men and women and I have already defined some products based on those category. So I can find that what is the revenue and cost 
related with those category okay and related with those two so now i am creating the one cells order just let me go to the cells and i am going to create the one quotation first okay now my customer is justy my product is it's regarding with that kids i am just going to sell those kids t-shirts in the kids t-shirt my quantity is 10 and my unit price let's consider the 1000 so this is the thing now here you can find the concept of analytic if you can't find just you have to click on those show and hide button and from itself you can find it now here you can see that we have that category we have that store now this regarding with that kids category i am just going to select the kids so currently i am doing this manually we have that automation also but for this i am preparing to next video okay now this is from the store one or store two so if it's warehouse one belongs to store one i'm just going to use that store one okay now that's thing and i'm just going to confirm it thing is clear now let's do the delivery i'm going to do those delivery forcefully let's consider that and i'm just going to validate it now this is my sales order i am creating the invoice as i am creating the invoice those analytic accounts are automatically coming in your invoice so kids and store and just i am going to confirm this so one invoice for your kids and store one okay i am going to create one more invoice so let me duplicate it i am going to duplicate this and let me do those kids and t-shirts but this is for my 2000 and now it will be here you can see that kids is there but it's not store one it's the store two is there so i'm just going to confirm it let me do the delivery let me just put the forcefully delivery validate and let's create the invoice for that so here invoice is there here again kids to store two and just we are going to confirm so two invoice belongs to kids and store two store one and store two now let me create some bills also but before that let let's do the bills first okay so i am in the bills i am creating the one bill that is my vendor one my product is again kids so it's a kids t-shirts okay and now the price is let's consider 500 okay now 500 is that and again i am choosing my category it's kids here it's we have we have purchased this for store one now store one is that i am just going to confirm let me add the bill date i have added the bill date and i have confirmed it one bill for store one and i am going to create one more bill for the store two i am selecting vendor one my product it's kids okay and just i am putting those with the category kids my store is store two and it's 100% with the price of let's consider the 450 okay now think is that let me add the 450 i am putting the bill date and i'm just going to confirm so this is the chart was example one example for the kids category we can do it for the men and women now let's jump to the analytic items on analytic accounting reportings how we can track that what's the income or what's the gross profit belong to your kids category and what's the profit or what's the revenue belong to store one because we have we have checked that it belongs to invoice as well as bill so our main agenda is that what will be the profitability for your any category it will be easily observable by using the concept of analytic accounting so let me go to the analytic accounting in that we have a concept of analytic items this is the first thing i am going to the analytic items and here you can see that all analytic items are there but now i want to here you can see that here all analytic items are there but i want to group by the your category because category and store both are the plan so i want to group by the your plan this is the category so here you can see that for kids we have four so here you can total amount total is the 11050 this is for your category itself if i want to do it for the store itself so let me go to the store and the, as you can see that we have delivered and we can make the invoice for store one and store two so here you can see that the store one having the 9500 and store two having the 15500 this is the one thing second thing is that let me go to the analytic accounts this is my analytic accounts first i have created those kits so in the kits itself you can find the gross margin is 11050 
it belongs to store one as well as the store two so if i will click on that here you can see that four items as i already said that for store two we having the billing of minus 450 for store one it's a 500 2000 and 10000 so here we can sense that for kids category we have the total margin total profit of 11050 okay one more thing if we want to find we want to find that for kids category and from store one what will be the revenue for kids category for the store two what will be revenue so this is not the single dimension this is for the double dimension so how we can do that so for that here let me go to the analytic items again this is my analytic items okay let me go to the our pivot view in the pivot view what we want to find we want to find the amount itself but using my just let me go to let me go to the store let me go to the category okay otherwise we can just let me flip this so here you can see that yeah that's fine here let me just make it uh, bigger so here you can see that for august we have a total amount for the kids is 11,050. Store 1 belongs to 9,500 and store 2 belongs to 1,557. This is one thing. Second thing, we can go to the profit and loss also. Let me go to the profit and loss. So this is my profit and loss. In the profit and loss itself, here you can see that. Let me just make it. Here we can see that we have a filter for that analytics okay here we can do the filtration by analytic plants we can do the filtration we can do the more narrow narrow down and we can do the filtration by the particular accounts also so let me do for the category and let me do for that store that that my category and my store so here you can see that net profit for my category and store is this okay if i want to make it more narrow with the category with the accounts of my kids okay so here you can see that again I want to do with this category with that store and I want to find just with the store 1 and store 2 so here my store 1 is that and again store 2 is that you can sense that for from store 1 and store 2 what will be the net profit so this is just one example okay now just here important is analytic plan analytic accounts using the analytic account you can find the gross profit that belongs to revenue as well as your cost you can try from your side with one of your example and let me know if you are stuck somewhere here my agenda is to clear the concept not the use case thank you everyone